My name is Dr. Rhonda M. Wood, and I am here to talk to you today about what it means to silence the stigma, find strength in your story, and heal out loud. So how many of us make it a daily practice to become the best version of yourself? Raise your hands. Yes. Now let me give you the scene. I'm sitting in his office, I'm in a suit. I'm in high heel shoes. I got my hair gelled up in a nice little bun. I had on my favorite necklace. And ladies, I had on my favorite red lipstick. Miss Wood, you're this close to a nervous breakdown. So I begin to prioritize my mental health because that nervous breakdown, it didn't go with my outfit that day. See, when you trust the transformation, you begin to let go of the control. You know how it is, especially we as women. Boy, we love to look like we got it all together. We never want to look weak. We always want to look like we're strong, in control, and in charge. My personal journey started with me working in corporate America. So I was trying to climb that corporate ladder, as many of us do. Wanted to be all I can be. But I found myself becoming discontent. And so I was becoming um, overworked. I was a little bit overwhelmed. I was feeling sort of stressed out and burned out. And I remember telling my then supervisor, hey, I think I need to take some time away. And how has that become your mission? Exactly how do you do that? Yeah. I need to let people know, hey, you know what? It's okay to put you first. It's okay to seek out environments that have you know, mentally healthy you know, safeguards in place so that you can make sure that you know, you're happy and healthy yourself. And so then I also started to do that for individuals as well. The name of my program is called the Heal Out Loud Academy. Holla. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the initials are H-O-L-A, so I call it Holla for, um, for short. But it teaches people to silence the stigma about having open and inclusive conversations about mental health, but also to find strength in their stories and, of course, heal out loud. Dr. Rhonda, thank you so much for your message today. It just reminds me that mental illness has different faces. Oh my goodness, Dr. Rhonda Woods just came in here and just, whoo, shifted the atmosphere for me. No, today is my first day. Today is my first day. My first day of having freedom. My first day of having freedom of finances, freedom of free creativity, and freedom to live life on my own terms.